what is up back here with another YouTube video and in case you cannot tell by the title below this video will be a video where uh, uh, I share my thoughts on uh, AEW Dynamite uh, that took place in Toronto this one even though Toronto is give or take an hour hour and a half depending on traffic and whatnot drive south of where I live it, I, I skipped out on it and kind of thankfully in a way I did in the sense of I'm not necessarily the biggest AEW fan. Do they have a good product for Dynamite and pay-per-views? Yes, I cannot talk about Rampage or Collision because I don't watch them regularly because I don't have TSM Plus uh, kind of deal so I can't really comment on that uh, but it was not for myself personally worth the drive of again our uh let's say 15 there hour 15 back plus maybe hotel depending on the weather when all of that stuff took place and i don't know for sure how many people uh were there but i think i heard over the weekend through russell text that they aew had a uh, rico coliseum set up for like six thousand people which good chunk it's um not the most that they rico or coca-cola coliseum had for a wrestling event uh but yeah good good showing um but yeah for myself personally i won't go into spoilers or match results for um dynamite just in case if you would want to watch it won't talk about a uh, rampage because it's airing in the u.s now uh but i don't know for sure if it's airing live in uh the in canada uh and all of that stuff but yeah for myself personally it is one of those things where i like aew i want to see it in person but i to a certain extent can't justify the price tag for the kind of show we got kind of deal because uh it, tickets went on sale in november if i remember right november december i could be wrong about that but late 2023 either way completely forgot about it until a couple of weeks back when uh adam copeland challenged um christian cage for the tnt championship completely forgot about it until then um and then went on Ticketmaster, seen the price uh there is no for coca-cola coliseum there is no 200 or 300 level it's just floor 100 level box feet and for the top half of uh the 100 section they wanted i think it was 193 or 198 um for before ticketmaster fees uh per ticket and i'm like i like i said like aew not that much and especially in comparison to collision in a week and a half on the 30th in london i could have got second row seats on the floor for 70 bucks uh probably 80 bucks after like fees and uh all of that stuff but yeah for myself personally again i'm not saying it was a bad show i'm just saying that it, it was a show that definitely happened it's cool to see uh more more people from uh the uh ontario new york maybe michigan independent scene uh kind of i don't want to get say get a shot at aew but work as extras whether it's dynamite or uh rampage uh, kind of deal so i guess that is one good thing about the event uh, but yeah that is it for uh, this one feel free to hit the like subscribe turn on post notification of course you don't have to if you don't want to but it would mean a lot to myself if you did more importantly hope you guys are doing okay mentally emotionally and physically the world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up i feel like i'm just lying to myself lying to myself yeah because i just crossed the line like i'm playing offside do it how i want and i'ma do it till i die I feel like i'm just lying to myself but it's